Hey everyone, what a strange day we had yesterday, huh? That being said, we'll have to wait a little longer to see Flight A take off after its sudden scrub. But don't worry, things might not be too serious. So what exactly happened? And when is the next launch attempt? Also, it's not just Starship. SpaceX has faced another delay with a Falcon 9 mission. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, Ariane 6 is also experiencing yet another delay, though unlike the others, this one sounds particularly discouraging. Let's break it all down on today's episode of Great SpaceX. We were all focused on Starbase on the afternoon of the 3rd of March, eagerly anticipating the next Starship test flight. Expectations were high, as this mission carried numerous critical objectives tied to the vehicle's long-term future. But unfortunately, the flight was delayed, and as many joked, it turned into an unofficial wet dress rehearsal. A step SpaceX had skipped for this launch attempt. So when will the next launch attempt take place? At this time, SpaceX has not made an official announcement. The new launch date will likely depend on the nature of the issue and how quickly it can be resolved. However, shortly after the abort, Musk provided an update on X stating, Best to destack, inspect both stages, and try again in a day or two. Prior to the scrub, documentation had indicated that Flight 8's launch window extended until March 6th, meaning SpaceX still has three days left to make another attempt. This suggests we could see the flight take place sometime this week, possibly even before the 6th. If you have a prediction for the new launch date, feel free to drop it in the comment section down below. For now, S-34 may need to be destacked from B-15 for a thorough inspection. Once any necessary checks and fixes are completed, it'll be restacked for another launch attempt. But the biggest question remains, why was the launch aborted? All pre-flight procedures had been progressing smoothly, including key steps such as detonation suppression system testing, venting, and fuel loading. However, an early delay from 5.30 p.m. to 5.45 p.m. Central hinted that something might have been amiss before fuel loading even began. Despite that, things seemed to be running well right up until the countdown suddenly stopped at T-40 seconds. A message then appeared, countdown hold for final launch checkout. On X, SpaceX later clarified, teams are using this time for final checks. But as time passed, it became clear that the issue could not be resolved immediately. Eventually, SpaceX confirmed, standing down from today's flight test attempt, Starship team is determining the next best available opportunity to fly. Musk later revealed one of the primary causes of the abort, too many question marks about this flight, and then we were 20 bar low on ground spin start pressure. Once again, it appears that pressure issues, a common challenge in rocketry overall, were at play. This likely involved the fuel tank or fuel lines of Super Heavy. Given that the issue occurred just one minute before liftoff, it's possible that a sudden drop in pressure happened when fuel was being transferred to the engines, in preparation for ignition. If the pressure was too low, the fuel pumps wouldn't function properly, leading to insufficient thrust or even failed engine startup. With Starship's complexity, any such issue could be a major concern. Additionally, the webcast host hinted that there was another unspecified issue with ship, though details remain unknown. We'll have to wait for further updates from SpaceX to get a clearer picture of the problem and the steps they will take to resolve it. Hopefully nothing too serious is at play. If you have any thoughts on the issue, please discuss them down below. This marks only the second time that SpaceX had to abort a Starship launch after completing fuel loading, the first being Flight 1. That alone makes this event notable. Setbacks like this are always frustrating, but problems can arise at any time in aerospace development. SpaceX must maintain its focus and discipline to push forward and make future attempts as successful as possible. Some may feel disappointed about yet another delay. After all, Flight 8 had already been pushed back from its original launch date of February 26th. But in reality, this isn't a bad sign. Safety remains the top priority and taking the necessary precautions, especially when addressing critical new upgrades, is far more important than rushing to launch. 
Considering the ambitious goals of Flight 8 and the lessons learned from previous missions, the decision to scrub the attempt in favor of safety was the right call. That's why I hope you'll continue supporting the SpaceX team as they work through these challenges. Standing by them in the toughest moments will make the ultimate success even more rewarding. If you're still excited and waiting for the next launch attempt, comment still waiting to show your support for the SpaceX team. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already to stay updated on Starship's development journey. Moving on to our next update item, another Falcon 9 mission has faced a delay, adding to the list of postponed launches this month. NASA's Sphere X and Punch spacecraft, originally set to launch on February 27th, were first pushed to March 4th and have now been rescheduled again for March 6th. Despite the delays, launch will take place at, at SLC-4E in California at 10.09 p.m. Eastern. According to NASA, the mission has been delayed to allow additional time to ensure the vehicle's readiness ahead of liftoff. The most recent delay appears to be for the same reason, ensuring everything is in optimal condition before launch. Fortunately, both payloads remain in good health. Sphere X, which is short for Spectrophotometer for the History of the Universe, Epoch of Reionization, and ICE's Explorer, is a white conical probe designed to take wide-field infrared images of the universe. Its function is somewhat similar to the James Webb Space Telescope, though at a much larger scale, offering a more zoomed-out perspective of the cosmos. Punch, or polarimeter to unify the corona and heliosphere, is a solar observation mission consisting of four small satellites that will study solar wind dynamics, coronal mass injections, and the sun's outer atmosphere. CMEs are of particular interest to scientists due to their potential to cause space weather events that can disrupt satellite operations and cause radio blackouts on Earth. The decision to launch both spacecraft on a single mission aligns with NASA's Launch Services Program, which seeks to maximize efficiency by pairing missions that can share launch services. This approach reduces costs and increases the frequency of scientific missions by utilizing commercial launch vehicles more effectively. Despite the delay, Falcon 9 remains the most reliable and flexible launch vehicle available today making it the best choice to support these two important missions. Now, all eyes are on the new launch date to see how SpaceX will execute this critical flight. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, another delay has occurred. The much-anticipated second launch of the Ariane 6 rocket has been postponed yet again. Originally scheduled to launch on the 3rd, the mission was set to carry the French military spy satellite CSO-3 into orbit from Europe's spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana. The launch was targeted for 11.24 a.m. Eastern, but was scrubbed shortly before 11 a.m. due to an issue with the ground infrastructure. Ariane Space, the company behind the rocket, posted on X, due to further operations needed on a ground means interfacing with the launcher, the launch is postponed. This statement makes it clear that the issue was not with the rocket itself, but rather with the supporting systems at the launch site. However, given the history of Ariane 6, this is yet another setback in an already troubled development process. This delay follows the failed third burn of the upper stage booster during the rocket's debut flight, a problem that took nearly eight months to diagnose and resolve. Despite this extensive delay, the issues seem far from over, raising concerns about Ariane Space's ability to maintain a steady launch cadence and meet its commitments. As for a new launch date, no official announcement has been made yet. Ariane Space stated the new launch date will be announced following the completion of these operations. In the meantime, the company assured that Ariane 6 and its passenger, the CSO-3 satellite, are in stable and safe conditions. The CSO-3 satellite, which is short for Optical Space Component in English, is an advanced optical reconnaissance satellite for the French military, designed to operate in sun-synchronous orbit at an altitude of approximately 500 miles or 800 kilometers above Earth. It is part of the Multinational Space-Based Imaging System, or MUSIS, program, which is led by the French Defense Procurement Agency, DGA, to enhance military observation capabilities. 
Unlike the delays faced by SpaceX, which are often minor and related to optimizing vehicle readiness, the Ariane 6 postponement represents a more fundamental issue. The problems occurring during the early operational phase of the rocket raise concerns about its long-term viability, especially given that this is the most crucial stage for proving a new launch vehicle's reliability. This is particularly concerning because Ariane 6 has already been plagued with delays since its development began in 2014. The rocket was supposed to replace Ariane 5 and continue Europe's independent access to space, but the slow pace of progress has instead created a launch gap. This delay has left Europe in a difficult position, unable to launch payloads independently. Adding to the challenge, Vega C, Europe's smaller rocket, has also been facing setbacks, and due to geopolitical tensions, Europe can no longer rely on Russia's Soyuz rockets for launching payloads. As a result, European institutions and commercial customers have increasingly turned to SpaceX, further highlighting the competitive gap between the company and the entire continent of Europe. Europe has ambitious plans to regain its foothold in the launch industry and compete with U.S. companies like SpaceX, but at the moment, its capabilities are still far from sufficient. Until Ariane 6 proves itself as a dependable launch vehicle, European spaceflight will remain largely reliant on external providers, particularly those in the U.S. For now, the big question remains, when will the second Ariane 6 launch take place? Will it be successful? And what will this mean for the future of European aerospace? These uncertainties continue to cast a shadow over Europe's space ambitions, making every upcoming launch attempt even more critical. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly in the latest details of SpaceX's progress. Thank you so much for tuning in, and remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will always follow you, as long as you keep looking up.